Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, let's see. Well, it's time once again for another DVD update. And I said that if I was going to get any more movies from Coffee House, that I would actually show those DVDs as well. And I'm going to incorporate uh, a few more that I have, or a mix of some stuff that I've got a while back ago that I never, uh, as far as I know, haven't shown yet. Some of these you probably have seen before on, in other updates, I'm not too sure. And I also want to say thanks for everybody who's been commenting and subscribing. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a heck of a time, you know, a heck of a uh, last couple months anyway, just uh, you know, making good videos and whatnot. And, and, and the video that I recently put up about giving thanks and respect, uh, it makes me feel pretty good uh, that the people that I actually was giving thanks and respect to, uh, actually got a chance to see exactly what I was doing so or exactly what I you know, well, the video that I put together so makes me feel pretty good but anyway I got some of these DVDs uh, from Plumby House and there's believe it or not there's still six more left that I have have to get that are on their way uh, that once I get them then I'll do another DVD update and I got to think about that I'm going to start doing a DVD update on all the movies that I have you know, because it's probably going to be a while until I do another Around the Town video. So I figure, you know what? Why don't I, every so often, find as much DVDs as I can, you know, uh, and that I have. Because I have over 700 movies. Some of these you might have seen before, some you haven't. And I can't remember what I've done, what I haven't done. So get ready to see more updates, a lot more stuff that I have, of stuff that I just bought, or stuff that, I just, that I've had for a long time. So anyway... The, well, the first two DVDs I'm going to show you are of, uh, of the ones that I was talking about on Tuesday when I put my last DVD update up. Uh, I finally got the last two movies of the National Lampoon's Vacation Series. I, if you remember the first update, I, I had National Lampoon's Vacation and Christmas Vacation. Well, I finally got National Lampoon's European Vacation and National Lampoon's Vegas vacation. And you know, it's kind of weird, you know, with all these movies, <clears throat> uh, what you'll probably notice is that mostly the only two or three characters that are the same are Chevy Chase, uh, Beverly D'Angelo, and of course, can, who can ever forget the one, the only, uh, Randy Quaid. So, I've seen all the movie, all these movies, but, uh, like I say, I have to watch them again just to get, you know, familiar. You know, it's nice now that I own the entire set uh, just because, well, you know, I know Walmart had it for 40 bucks. Plus, you get a nice little, or no, not Walmart, Kmart over here has a, had the set for, uh, during Thanksgiving. Uh, the whole four movies for like $40. It's like, well, do I really want to pay $40 for four movies? Or do I, or should I just use some of my fun cash that I have from Columbia House and get it for free? <clears throat> and just pay shipping handling. <laughs> so, I took the better road anyway, I think. Okay, this next one I have had for a while. I, I picked it out because I thought, you know, it's a movie that I'm sure a lot of you have seen before. Maybe some of you haven't. Maybe some of you newer subscribers or newer, younger people that are, are watching have not seen this, but I do recommend it. It is Andy Dice Clay's big movie. I mean, he's done a couple other movies, too, you know, but this was the big one for him. The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. It has an all-star cast. It's not only does Andrew Dice Clay, but it has Priscilla Presley. It has Morris Day, Robert England, uh, Ed O'Neill. Let's see, who else? Uh, Wayne Newton. It has a lot of different people. And it's kind of weird because, uh, oh, it also has Gilbert Gottfried as one of the radio announcers. Uh, I mean, it's just amazing how how, how much uh, how many uh, how many all stars or, or celebrities are in this movie. But what what it is is uh, he's a detective, a rock and roll detective, <clears throat> and uh, what he does is he he tries to solve a crime of the uh, of a DJ that just gets killed, and uh, he wants to find out what's going on. And the name of the DJ, of course, is Johnny Crunch, aka Gilbert Gottfried's uh, uh, character. 
It's a very good movie from 1990. Two songs to uh, recognize with uh, are the from the soundtrack are is Cradle of Love by Billy Idol and uh, the Ford Fairlane theme song, which is composed by a band called Yellow. So it's really good. It's available in this collection. I think it's the only collection you can find on DVD. It's available in full screen and widescreen. So it's a great buy. It's an excellent buy. And I definitely, definitely recommend it. All right. Now that we're getting more here. Now this, this uh, next uh, set I bought or just got uh, two, yesterday in the mail from Columbia House. It's Saturday Night Lives. It's Saturday Night Live musical guests. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. I, you know, I can't really, when it comes to impressions, I can't really do much. But, you know, when I say it's Saturday Night Live, you know, and then add it, then add a musical guest, Britney Spears. It's like, holy moly. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I don't know where that can where that came from, but uh, this is the Saturday Night Live's Christmas uh, edition, and I have not seen it, but it shows all the classic Christmas scenes, or, or not every Christmas scene, obviously not, but some of the best that uh, were, were handpicked by uh, NBC and Primark Entertainment, and it has stuff like uh, from members of the show, Dan Carvey, Chevy Chase, Jane Curtin, Phil Hartman. John Lovitz, Eddie Murphy, Bill, Bur Bill Murray, Mike Myers, Adam Sandler, and much, much more, plus guest stars, Alec Baldwin, uh, Danny DeVito, Steve Martin, Paul Simon, and Wilhelm Shatner. <laughs> so, I have not seen this yet, but uh, I know it features like uh, some Saturday Night Live send-ups, uh, The Lost Ending, Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song, uh, Church Lady's Rock and Drum Solo, Mr. Robinson's Christmas, and if you remember Mr. Robinson, that was uh, Eddie Murphy doing the parody of Mr. Rogers. It said he ends up calling it Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It'd be a, it's time for Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. <laughs> and it'd be what Mr. Rogers would be like if he was in the if he was in the hood, I guess, or if he was on the streets, if he was a gangster, and if he was black. Nothing against black people, by the way. It's just funny. I have not, as you can see, I have not opened it up yet because I just got it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a good buy. I mean, why not? Why not? Alright. We might go to a couple of more parts here. I'm thinking, because of time and whatnot, got a couple of minutes to do another one here. Now, this one I have seen. This is another one of those uh, Bill Murray movies. I, I like to call B side movies that. Uh, that he put to, put put out or whatnot that most people don't even talk about because when you talk about Bill Murray you think oh Ghostbusters Ghostbusters too what about Bob Caddyshack uh, you know and stuff like that or even the man who knew too little comes to mind but you never think about a movie entitled Where the Buffalo Roam it stars Bill Murray right here and Peter Boyle the late great Peter Boyle. It's from 1980, so this is around the time when he started making kind of somewhat of an impact as far as uh, uh, an actor uh, just, get, just getting started. I, I do know that back in the day in Chicago and whatnot, when he was first trying to start out before Saturday Night Live ever got started, that he was working for Little Caesars. And it's even proof of that on wikipedia.com, if you type that his name in, Bill Murray, that there's a picture of him working at Little Caesars when he was 21 years old back in the year, about 1971, uh, before he even made it in film or anything. Uh, but anyway, this is a good movie. I'm not going to give, going to give anything away. I'm just going to say, check it out. Uh, it also stars, uh, co-stars the late great Bruno Kirby from all the Billy Crystal movies, like City Slickers 1, City Slickers, City Slickers 2, and there were when Harry met Sally, something like that. It's from Universal, it's available in widescreen as well, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a, Neil Young does some movie, or does, does some uh, the music, and it kind of reminds you of uh, Fear, Loathing, and Las Vegas. That's just all I'm gonna say. Well, we're gonna go into part two here, as I continue my rad rave. 
on more DVD updates right here with Frankie Slauson on YouTube.com.